Uh, really, not a lot of quality here today. Uh, really not a lot at all. So OMI is a good bearish gap. I do not like the spread and I don't like the way that it's moving and I don't like the volume. Um, but I think this is going to work today and it may be rough going in the morning, but I think this is going to go. Um, I don't think it's going to be a fast play. I have a doctor's appointment today. I must leave at 10 o'clock. So if I can't get in and out of something by 10, I'm not going to be able to do anything. So I don't think this is going to be the play to do that. Very well could set up. Um, I thought Gyro could help with the room after 10, but he's not here. So um, it is what it is. Uh, I think I'm going to watch. I think I'm going to watch eBay. I think the only fast play could be in this, and there's no guarantees. So kind of a weird morning here because not a lot of quality, and I can't trade long today. <clears throat> and also no good shorts, which is unusual considering the number of earnings out. And also looking at the market this morning, you would think, You would think that there would be something, but there's not. Very tricky, very tricky here. Again, I believe the market is 100% higher and very tricky here because of the fact we're gapping down today. Does anyone have anything that they want me to quickly look at? I'm gonna be flipping probably between OMI and eBay this morning. One is a long, one is a short. If I do anything at all, it'll be eBay. OMI, unless it comes in with huge volume right into the open, I won't be doing it. But I do think that works. If you have something you want me to look at, you better put it in the room quick. Didn't call an option in this. That was a good decision. It's a very good decision. And Juniper flipped yesterday into the close, so I wouldn't even watch that as a continuation today. I think I did look at that, but I'll look at this again. In fact, I know that I did, but I'll look at it again here, right before the open, CTXS. <laughs> it's not even gapping. It's not gapping, look. Stock closed last night at 92.76. It's trading right now at 92.76. This is there's no gap here. It's a weird, weird morning because um, UPS isn't good either. I did look at that. It's unfortunate. Unless this has gotten better, but I doubt it. Uh, Facebook was down last night, and I was all over that, thinking that it was going to be a great short for us this morning. Very quickly changed my mind this morning. Oh, this does look a lot better. I don't have time to read it. This looks much better than it did. Wow, when did this happen? In the last 15 minutes. Here's where it got good. All right, let's watch UPS. I'm trading on the fly if it sets up. I'd rather, I'd, I'll, I'll, I actually, I'll flip between this and eBay eBay is a long, this is a short. If you're here in a trial, I wouldn't do anything today. Today will not be an easy day to follow me, and it's got to be a fast trading day, and I didn't even rate this, but it, it after it just dropped in here, the last 15 minutes made this look good. It didn't look good before that. Oh, my volume, it's just not enough. You can tell the way stock's trading. I don't know, maybe we should just watch eBay though. I mean, I, I, you know, this looks a lot better, that's true. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's not gonna be easy to follow me today. If you wanna sit and listen, fine. If you wanna be quick on the draw, then follow me. I'll shout out what I'm doing when I'm doing it. It's not gonna be an easy day to follow me. Two things I like, one's a long, one's a short. That's very unusual. One I didn't even rate.
think I'd rather do eBay though. Let's just see. Target's 47 in this. 48. gotta do it right away too and if it doesn't then we're not even doing it so let's see yep this is, looks like it's gonna work all right stop on this and I don't have the entry yet is going to be just to be safe, I'm giving it a huge amount of room. Forty-four ninety, and I don't have the entry yet. Sixty by ninety, eBay long if it hits. Here, just do it. Just get in if you want it. Get the stop in. $44.90. $44.90. This is going to go. Here. Here, here, here. We're getting one quick play. Thank you. 46 is the first target. Here, here, here. Here, here. Man, this is exactly what I needed today. Thank you with my schedule. 46. 46 and a flurry over and I'm out just because I got to get going today. And I, I really gave this plenty of room that you could be in it all day. I said 47, 48. Come on. Pushed up there. 45.90. I can't watch UPS now. We're in this. I said if this goes right away, it's good. And it did. And if you didn't do it, you could do it here. If you didn't do it, you could do it right here. Put this stop at 44.90. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 932, beautiful. Quickly look at the market here. Quickerly. Market is just not going to fall. It's just not going to fall. is frozen again don't tell me here here we go ebay hope everyone got it beautiful call beautiful call flurry over 46 i'm going to be out because i have to go and everything worked out gorgeously today 47 is a real number if you want to stay in it all day i gave you the stop to do that oh gators already out <laughs> you people are funny 45.99 and we do have the market with us here we go here we go You always have to be a little bit, little bit more patient for longs, which is again, obviously why I prefer to short, but I knew that this had to go right away. So that was the one positive thing. I don't know if, I can't look at, at UPS right now, but does anybody, what did it do? I'm interested to see. 
Here, eBay. Come on, get over 46, go. Yay, out, I'm out, I'm out. Yay, yay, yay. That's exactly what I needed. Oh, thank you. Beautiful, and it was such a crap day. Oh my God, there was nothing good today. I can't believe I just did that. I just can't believe I just did that. There was crap today. Is I mean, it was crap. And the market's crap because it's gapping down and it's really strong. Oh, I, I'm giving myself a round of applause. Oh, I am on point. All right, let's look what UPS did. Oh, chicory. All right, let's look at this. This bar I do not like, but this is trying to go. And this is obviously going and crap what was the other one what was the other one i liked oh oh am i no no lack of volume here and just moving very strange Shoo. all right is anyone still on ebay mountain girl said awesome thank you for the fast trade steve loves making thousand dollars we're heading to work thanks steve you <laughs> you you have to write a testimonial because you followed me for I don't know how many years before you did the class and now you're doing so great. Here, here, eBay. Anybody still in it? 46.25, 46.50. Again, if I didn't have to go today, I would have held on to this at least for a buck. It's going. It's just because I have to leave by 10 o'clock and you just don't know. I said 47 today. 48, Dream Target, eBay, with the market, which is green. Is anyone still in it? Javad's is still in it, and Galahad's still in it. Green Maverick's still in it. Fred's still in it. 46.22. Let me just check something. I did send out an option letter today, um, people. For those of you, let me see if it went. I sent it to my assistant. For those of you in the letter, do it, do it, do it. Let me see if you sent it. I was having computer issues this morning, which even added to the stress of my morning. Um, okay, uh, what else? Gypsy's still in it. Listen, I didn't even have to give that that stop. I just, you know, I figured it could be an all-day play, so I, I gave it a very wide stop. I mean, this actually was perfect. Look at look at how that's set up. I knew it had to go right away. So let's talk about the market and then Facebook, and our day is complete. So market gap down today, showing signs of the weakness in the gap, but not really. You could even say neutral, neutral slash bearish, not really bearish. Didn't think we'd fall. Again, every day that we don't really fall, but also don't really rally and just make this do, do, do. This line is pulling up to here and so is this. So the market is showing more of a mountain look up every day that this is happening. Because actually when we trade down like this this morning in the gap, this pulls this line up. Something will happen big with the market before the end of the week. I don't think it's today. Everybody reports tonight, Google, Apple, Amazon. And I remember I said, something's not going to work right. Well, it might have been Facebook because it gapped down. We'll look at that in a minute. But then it flipped. So it's probably going to be something else that doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Although Microsoft, I don't think, did either. Let's look. But I really wasn't counting that in the grouping of the four. Yeah, see, that was down last night, too, and then it just, just opened neutral. BABA reported this morning, and this was down. I looked at it. I didn't see anything there. Again, not enough weakness. Certainly wasn't strong. Let's see where this opened. Yeah, just nothing here. 
So this looked a lot better in where it opened, but it's having trouble going. So UPS, I don't know here. And this just is going to fall, but just very low volume. Starting to look a little bit better again. I said later play. So I never thought a million years would be going long one day this week, considering there were so many earnings, but there just weren't any good shorts today. So eBay, if you're in it, stops 44.90. You're in it as an all-day play, or you could have shaved some off, or it looks like you could re retake it if it resets up. So Facebook was down in a monster way last night. And let's just look at the chart. Again, I don't play after hours. You see here how people that played af play after hours, which people do, just got whoppered this morning. Because the stock last night clearly, clearly, clearly looked lower to everyone on the planet. It was at 177.10. Let's go right over here. I mean, that is down. And nowhere near making a new high. And then it started to lift. But this was very, very late. And then here was this morning. So, you know, crazy move here by Facebook. Just crazy town yesterday. Huge move down. Huge move up. And then making a new high. Almost to 195. Right, right, very late last night. I think this is 645. No, it's 545. Anyways, crazy town. So, you know, really needed to wait till this morning to see where it was. Was up better this morning, actually, but where it opened was fine. Oh, PYPL I did look at, too. And I didn't end up reading that, but let's look at that. I don't know what you mean by over the hill, Galahad. I don't know what that means. Um, this is selling off. Sloppy setup here. Stop really not that bad for the stock. This is going. I'm not going to call any more trades today because i got to shut the room down by 10, but this is going. Where does it go today? I don't know. If this starts to break 78, it could absolutely collapse, but no guarantee that will happen. Remember, market's holding strong today, and PayPal is a strong stock. But you have some selling here into the gap this morning. This had earnings. Uh, it's been a beast for more than a year, so this gap really today isn't critical for the chart here. But we could have done this. I actually didn't, didn't rate this. I liked eBay better of the gaps, whether looking at longs and shorts, and I really did like OMI. I just didn't like the volume. Again, Galahad, you're using all kinds of different things I don't use. Major points, pivot points, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I only look at the gap. Um, what was the other one, NVIDIA? Seeing just not enough here. Let's look at everything. Anyways, I'll have a really quick talk here before we go. We actually do have time to have a talk today, which I didn't think we would. Um, Barry, did you do eBay today? Before I have a talk, Barry, you're here. It was a long. Did you go long eBay today? Man, does Apple look like crap? Can't wait to see what it does in the earnings. Barry, did you trade today? I know you did yesterday and worked. Did you do today? It was long. Um, here, I've been talking about it all week, but here's the watches for tonight in the meantime. You got there late. You got here late? Oh, you're always here early. 
Here's tonight's. P P P Y P L broke 78. All right, I'll go back and look at it. It's it's late now. I mean, you'd have to watch it for a setup between now and 10. But if it broke 78, it's going to collapse today. That I can tell you. I'll look at it in a minute. Yeah, it's the first time you're ever late. I think so, Barry. Yeah, this is going to collapse here. So this worked if you did this at all anywhere. I did not rate the gap. It would have rated okay to watch. But I still don't think it would have done this over eBay. I got to tell you, though, this, the stops in here were decent for the move. Here and here. And this is on its way. So, I mean, 76, 75, 74. Um, this does not look good. Anywhere this sets up, if you want to do a second trade in here today, it's perfectly fine. It's underway. It broke 78 and not by five pennies. It broke it. Um, it's just going to go. Almost 50 cents. <clears throat> So don't expect this 50 period moving average here to hold this sucker up. It's going. So again, not a, not a, not a horrible gap for the chart, but you have profit taking in here. Stock's been strong so many months. I mean, this has been one of the strongest things in the market, this PayPal. New highs all every day almost. Almost got up to 90. For whatever reason, the earnings created it to gap down, and, and you're having profit taking in this today. So this is selling action, and it's real. And here it goes. It's just going to go. I would not have done this, though, over eBay, and nor would I take a second trade and a second symbol when i got to close the room out in 15 minutes. But if you know how to trade, which everybody does here unless you're on a trial, you can do this all day. It's, it's just a goner here today. But not in the long-term chart, just for the day. Great call, thanks. Um, eBay, or let's go look at it. What did it do? Yep, it lifted again. So this is, hey, look at that. You could have taken it again. Sorry, I didn't call a second trade in this. Again, you know, I told you I had my schedule today, but you could have done a second trade in this here, lifted again. You could have got out, done it again, got out. You could still be in it. So 47 is very likely for the target. 48 is a dream target, which you might have to be into lunch or later. Okay. eBay has gotten rid of PayPal and gone with a London company. Okay. I think PayPal was earnings though, wasn't it? Was it or wasn't it? Here, let's check it. Oh, you know what else? Whatever happened to our friend Equifax? Speaking of. Let's look up PayPal, because I thought it was earnings. Maybe I'm wrong. That Equifax scandal was rigged because that never really came out. Nothing really happened with that. The chart still looks like crap. No, that was guidance for PayPal. Yeah, it was. Plus news. Here, let's look what Equifax is. February 7th at night. That's next week. Oh my gosh, it's February today. Crazy. How can it be February? I still have my Christmas tree up. It's true. I might be the only one. <laughs> All right, let's go back to this. Um, any questions from anyone? Just really quickly here, I'll lecture for a couple of minutes. Um, talked to Galahad for a few minutes yesterday, and it just made me remind everyone in here of the points. I think for the, I think everyone is doing well. I mean, if you're not and you want to reach out to me, you can, but I think everyone is doing well for 2018. Um, and Barry, you're getting on track this week. Now you were late today, but I think this week you're getting on track yourself. Um, 
Anyways, Galahad switched platforms. If you ever switch platforms or do something in a, in a busy season time, which it is, okay, because there's really stuff every day right now in earning season, then take the time in the afternoon to practice on a demo of the new platform or small, tiny size, getting used to the, getting used to the platform. Don't do it when you're live training in the morning when you've got to hit it right and get in and get out quickly because it will distract you. And I think anyone can learn a new platform within a week, two weeks max. It shouldn't take you a month to learn a new platform. You could, you could, you can learn how to buy, put in a stock, short, put in a stock. Not the fancy stuff, but just normal in and out, whether you go long or short in a day. And you know, playing around with the ECNs and that kind of stuff, that you can do in the afternoon. But don't let it distract you when you're trading in the morning when you really got to be on point and you got to get in quick then you got to have several different keys or set up with ecns if you're having trouble getting filled galahad then my suggestion is the ecn is the is the issue pay up for arca you should get filled every time you press a button in arca because they charge out the butt um where did this go 4643. Anybody still on this? So, you know, I think everyone's doing well this year, and I've been making good calls, and I did the tracking yesterday. It had no sound. I have to redo it. Um, but I counted, I counted Gyro's calls the days he helped out, which is valid because he uses the system. Um, but I mean, there's been really hardly any losses this whole year. I'm trying my best to stay on track, um, and everyone should be doing good. And I joked with Galahad because I said, you know, a monkey could be making money in here following me this year. So if you are too in your head about training, then think like a monkey. And I'm 100% serious. Just press the button when I call the trade and press it when I call to get out. If you're too in your head about trading because of stuff that's happened in your past, then you need to, you know, move ahead and get out of your head about it and stop thinking. Just stop thinking. You just need to be a monkey. Because a monkey could be making money in the room with me for 2018. Just hitting the button when I scream to get in and get out. It'd be, it's impossible for you not to be, everyone not to be up really nicely since the beginning of the year. Monkey see, monkey do. That's right. And so, again, I said this yesterday, structure is important. But if you're in your head overanalyzing stuff or living in the past about things that have happened with you with trades or trading or whatever or stocks, certain ticker symbols, whatever we do, you remember things in trades past, whatever it is, then you need to think like a monkey. Just do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Because you're missing opportunities here to take advantage of earning season, the great calls I'm giving, and there's no excuse. So if that helps you work through it, then just do it. Do it like a monkey. Galahad's saying he presses a key, but nothing happens. I think that's an excuse. Then if that's really the truth and you don't get filled in any trades at all, you have two options. A, change brokers. B, go back to the, the other platform you were using before. And if it costs more money, an extra 100 bucks a month, then, then you suck it up and you pay it. Because it's better to get filled and get the trades and pay an extra 100 bucks a month for the platform than not to get filled at all. True or false? True. It's, again, that's an excuse. It's an easy, easily rectified problem. Every problem can be solved. Therefore, do it. Mountain Girl wants to be a really good monkey. <laughs> I thought of that yesterday, Koala Bear. I'm like, you see, monkey do. I, I, I ended up emailing Galahad the same thing. I don't know where that's from, but it's true. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm an overly analytical person myself. 
But I will tell you that at my best, in the live moment at my best, I'm in sync with everything and I'm just in the knowing of it. And it, I'm not over, I'm not overanalyzing it in the moment. So that comes from experience to be that good without overanalyzing it, which some of you are not there yet. But it's instinct and intuition and experience that if I'm at, if I'm not in my head, I'm at my best too. So, you know, again, you know, the, the, the analyzing part happens in the morning. You rate the gap. Then you got to turn the switch and you got to live in the moment and you got to do it when the trade's set up. Think and use your brain when you're rating the gaps in the morning, when you're rating the gaps at night, when you review what you did in the afternoon, when you evaluate your mistakes or things that you might have did well. But in the live moment, intuition counts. That's where it's so important to really know what you're doing. And if you don't, then be a monkey. If you don't know my system as well as me, which no one does, then be a monkey when you're here and just make the money. And over time, then, you will move through the head games. But Galahad, you're making excuses. You don't have any left. Switch platforms or switch brokers. Here, this is even setting up again, which is crazy. Uh, Delta, same thing, or swim, fills are terrible lately. I don't know, I've never used think or swim. I don't think you're in sync at all, Galahad. I think you're, you're, you're a head case, and you, and you need to be a monkey. You, of all people, should be monkey. Monkey town, that's you, starting today. Did you do this trade? Did you do it, get out? Monkey, monkey, monkey. And by the way, monkeys aren't greedy. If monkeys are up in an option trade, then they get out. If you give a monkey a banana, he's going to eat it. He doesn't need 50 bananas. He'll be happy with two bananas. And then he'll go back to swinging on the trees. He doesn't gloat over how he didn't get the 50 bananas. He's happy at two bananas. Next meal is in a couple hours. He doesn't spend all day wondering why he didn't hold Netflix to the top of the top of the top. Why he didn't get 50 bananas. He got fed. He had two bananas. Next meal is in a five hours and he'll get two more bananas. He doesn't spend days and weeks and hours kicking himself for not trying to get Netflix up to 282 in the highest point in the world, 286. A monkey would never do that, and that is exactly what you do. You had a great trade, you got out, you made over $1,000, it was a perfect trade. You will kick yourself in the butt for not holding that up to some crazy number. Again, that's not monkey. Monkey knows he's going to be fed tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, we're going to get a good trade. And if we don't, we won't do anything. Then Monday morning, we'll get up. And we'll get fed again the banana. You can't live and die by every single trade, whether it's a loss or a big winner. Steve says I'm cracking him up today. <laughs> I don't know what made me say that, but I was when I was on the phone with him, I, I, I just, I mean, I literally, and I'll just say this one last thing. When I was on the phone with Galad yesterday, and he was whining about not getting filled and this and that and whatever, I just, it was just blurted it out. I'm like, a monkey could be making money with me in the trading room this year. A monkey. <laughs> and then I just, I mean, I just thought about it, and it's hysterical, but it's true. So it's really just getting out of your head. So I don't know. Anyways, listen, have a great day, everyone. I've got to get going. Uh, and this worked out perfectly today. If you're still in it, you're in it all day. Although I think you should be out of at least half or 75% of it with the lift it had there. Um, it will be interesting to see what everything does tonight. As of now, I'm planning on being here tomorrow. I'm not scheduled for TV, but I could get a call. 
Um, but as of now, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Caveman is a better analogy, but cavemen, cavemen have brains. Cavemen still think too much, probably. It's the idea of overthinking, Vincent. That's, that's the problem. Okay. All right. Have a good day, everyone. You're welcome.